Oh, what's up Rebels, what's up Pride Crew? Doug here, Sunday Walk and Talk. Feeling uh, very happy, very uh, proud, and super excited. Uh, I'll get to that in a few minutes. But here in a slightly cold and a little gloomy Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, it's not super warm out, it's only like 45. But, that doesn't matter. Little, uh, little chill, no sunshine. Doesn't mean we're not walking. Spring kind of started early here. It's been really warm the past couple of weeks. Look at those trees already starting to blossom. It's crazy, crazy weather. Anyways, Sunday walk and talk. Here, of course, with idiot number one. The biggest idiot, the biggest baby. Come on, hype, come on, let's go. Uh, so, of course, as usual, every Sunday, kind of go over training for the past week and uh, what's to come, some events in the gym, and uh, maybe some business stuff, and maybe, uh, I don't know, some other thoughts. So, uh, my training, always start there. I started a new squat program this week. Uh, there is a video on that squat program. I just uploaded that video uh, a couple days ago, I think on Thursday, maybe on Friday, I can't remember. Um, so, uh, squat, ooh, which reminds me, I have to eat a lot tomorrow, like a lot, a lot. So anyways, uh, new squat program. Uh, new squat program is nine weeks, and I went through week one yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Went through uh, week one this past week, and uh, my squat day is on Monday. It's a very late day, it's a very long day, but it's my best day to squat, so we're doing squats on Monday. So we did last week uh, is a uh, high box, five rep max. This coming week is a three box, three box, three rep max, high box. And then the following week is uh, one rep max, high box. And then the next three weeks we go five, three, one parallel box. And then the next three weeks we go uh, five, three, one low box. Uh, I'll go over all those details and everything um, in the squat video, and uh, I'll try to put a link to that video down here in the description, uh, and um, I'll try to put it at the, uh, the end point if I can remember to do that tomorrow. So, um, went to 365 last week, five reps, high box. So I'm hoping to go over 400 on uh, three reps, one rep. So. Should be exciting. It was uh, it was difficult. I wanted to throw up, and it was a lot of weight. It was heavy, but it was actually fun, and I was super excited. So I was super happy with that uh, kettlebell training. Uh, getting back in the groove. Um, my left leg, my gracilis muscle strain is. I, it's almost a hundred percent. I only get a little teeny tiny feeling of it. Uh, once in a while, uh, having some issues, uh, pain in my right knee. Um, it's just some mobility stuff, some some soft tissue work that I need to work on. Um, probably gonna see our massage therapist that we have at the gym, Sarah. Uh, if you guys need massage work done here in Charlotte, Sarah Sumner is her name and massage is her game. Uh, but she is also a lifter, so she knows uh, she knows the strains and she knows the um, she knows the struggles and what we all go through as lifters. So April has found something that smells wonderful, apparently. So uh, if you need uh, body work done, Sarah Sumner is your girl. She is located inside Pride Conditioning, and we love having her there. She's very good at what she does. So, I uh, get some work done on my leg. Should feel a little bit better. My back is actually feeling pretty damn good, which I'm happy about. Uh, kettlebell, I've been 
I had kind of a medium volume, medium kind of weight. Right now I'm kind of uh, mixing together some protocols from uh, RGSI, from Igor, and I'm also mixing together some protocols from uh, Gregor and the Conjugate program. So doing some experiments and uh, handing those experiments down to my people in, oh, got the sweatshirt on today. Oh uh, yeah, in the Rebel Kettlebell Club. So uh, those people will get some of that stuff handed down to them. It's uh, kind of fun, it's difficult, but it's still fun. Um, so all that training is going well. My O-lifting is strangely coming along. Um, you know, it's one of those things where like when you do it week after week after week, it's like, oh my God, it's like magic. You just get better at it. So, uh, but it's one of those things where it's like newbie gains. So, you know, I wasn't spectacular at it to start with. So it's like, you get a lot better really quickly. Even though I've been doing O-lifting, you know, for a few years, I've never really, fo I focused on it a few years ago. I got kind of decent, okay, but uh, I was also too focused on my cardio to really put effort into my O-lifting. So I'm actually gonna be getting some, uh, some help from a special uh, coach in the near future on my old lifting uh, and also consulting with Gregor on some of that stuff. So a bunch of stuff going on in my training program. Uh, Lindsay's training, uh, of course, her bench is, <laughs> just gets better and better every single week. And she keeps complaining about it because, well, you wish that all of your lifts would get better, you know? Um, so she's happy with that. We may have found a couple of fixes with her deadlift and her hips and her shoulders and her back and all that shit being connected. Uh, it's always amazing that, you know, you find this problem in your shoulder and you're like, man, maybe that's why my, my back hurts. And then maybe that's why I can't, you know, squat in a straight line. You know, my hip kind of dips to the left. This shit is all connected. The human body is, is quite amazing. So, uh, Lindsay's doing good on her training. Everyone else at the gym. So uh, we're doing some good programs. As far as class, we're about to restructure the uh, class schedule. Not the timing of the classes, but their uh, programming, the schedule of their programming. We're, we're gonna go through that over the next couple of weeks. So we got some surprises in store for that. Sorry. Sniffly, it's uh, it's chilly out, man. I get uh, I get sniffly. So uh, all of our people in class are gonna get some some new stuff and a new programming schedule coming soon. Uh, all of the power lifters are still getting ready for the USPA meet next month. It's March 30th, North Carolina State Championships. We are hosting. It's gonna be a big one. Hundred lifters couple hundred spectators it's gonna be a big event we're super excited a little uh a little anxious starting the getting down into the planning phase not the planning but the the prep phase man you know if you prepare for event for a few hundred people it gets uh, a little stressful uh so what other events uh aklu uh we don't actually host any events we just uh put our stamp on events with our affiliates and we have more affiliates coming on board. Uh, we also just hooked up a discount for our members for Kettlebell Gains Apparel. And yes, I do own an apparel line. Yes, I do print shirts, but so does my man at Kettlebell Gains. And people love his stuff and I'm not one to uh, block somebody. People love his stuff and we had a chance to set up a deal for our members. Listen, there's more than enough to go around. There's no reason to, to step on people or block people from success. And, you know, I wish him all the success that he can possibly get. And if I can help him succeed, I'm sure, and not expecting it, but I'm sure at some point 
that will come around. Everything comes full circle. So, you know, you help others and someday somebody will help you. So that's how it goes. It's called karma and I definitely uh, believe in it. So I uh, hooked up that discount for our members, for AKLU members. So uh, if anybody watching the video, if you're an AKLU member, or if you are thinking about becoming a member, become a member. Man, you get some discounts. Uh, we're trying to hook up some discounts with uh, some other equipment manufacturers. So uh, some big stuff coming in. Uh, also, you know, working with World Games and uh, IUKL and trying to work with WKSF and there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm trying to stay uh, super positive and stay out of any, um, you know, personal beefs or anything like that. It's, uh, it's about the members and it's about the lifters and it's got nothing to do with who likes who and who did what in the past, man. It's all about the future. So got some exciting stuff coming through for all of my kettlebell sport people. What else is going on? Uh, so got some new weights in the gym. I was super excited about that. Only, uh, <laughs> only people who love to lift would get excited about buying weights. <laughs> uh, we got a, a great deal on some Ivanko revolver plates. And if you are in the world of weightlifting, Ivanko revolvers, well, they're awesome. They are our favorite plates, and uh, we were in the right place at the right time, and we got a good score on uh, a stack of Ivanko plates. And if you know the story behind the plates at the gym, well, us getting that stack of Ivankos, it's just, uh, well, there's a little irony behind it, and uh, it's just amusing, that's all. <laughs> If you know if you know the inside joke then you know the inside joke so we got those plates we were super happy about it um and again prepping for the uspa meet it's another thing we got to get in more plates more bars we're gonna have a lot of lifters in there warming up and i want to be prepared i don't want anybody to walk away and you know think or say anything bad about the warm-up area for the meet so we're, uh, we're hooking that up for everybody. Uh, what else is going on? So, uh, apparel, speaking of apparel, uh, and my sweatshirt, my new sweatshirt, uh, trying to print up all of our uh, gym apparel. So if anybody wants any shirts or hoodies from uh, Pride or Rebel Kettlebell or Rebel Powerlifting, our two small clubs that we have inside the gym, uh, we will have a bunch of apparel this week. Yes, I know I'm well over a month late with that apparel and I am truly, truly sorry about that. Hold on a second. I got to fix somebody's stepped over their leash. So, uh, then, uh, excuse me, runny nose. Uh, my big secret collaboration still being kept a secret. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate to keep talking about it and not really fill you in on the details. It'll, it'll come out soon, I promise. Uh, but the one thing I can tell you is, uh, I can give you a little hint, but it's so vague, nobody will latch on to it. But if you were watching Fox Sports 1 today, uh, somebody achieved something really great today and uh, was the youngest person to do so. And let's just say that I have a personal connection to that person. That's all I'm gonna reveal about that. Uh, so super excited about that, uh, that work in progress and uh, you're gonna keep seeing that person uh, laying down some amazing stuff this year and it's gonna be all over. Fox Sports Network all year, and it is going to be spectacular. So super excited about that, and that's what it that 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 collaboration and that project uh, is the culmination of years of just working hard. You know, not 
not doing things uh, just to get noticed, just to get likes on Instagram, just to get cool pictures with famous people, famous athletes. You know, it's, it's just keeping your head down, working, 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 developing relationships with people, being respectful, being humble, and you know, just being nice and doing things because it's the right way to do them and working hard. And that's what this collaboration uh, came from. And I'm super, super proud of what happened today and super proud of the person that uh, achieved this today. Super proud of his accomplishment. And uh, you'll find out, you'll find out all about it. I promise it's coming soon. So getting back to the house in a minute here. And man, this is a long video today, this week. Last thing I'm gonna leave you with, uh, you know, speaking of doing things for the right reasons, uh, things happen for a reason. And uh, you know, I, I definitely believe that you can kind of mold your, your future and you can not necessarily write your own story, but if you do the right things and you develop the right relationships, you're nice to people, you're respectful, you're humble, you work hard, good things will happen. Uh, and when you, when you purposefully try to do things to people uh, to put them down or set them back or uh, keep them from achieving their goals and you do it for spiteful reasons, I promise you won't win. Uh, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Gary Vaynerchuk and uh, Gary always says kindness always wins. And uh, you know, you just, you do things for the right reason and good things will happen and you will be successful and you'll be happy. So that is your Monday, nope, Monday motivation is tomorrow. That is your Sunday walk and talk and I'm back home. So we are done. I'll see you guys tomorrow for your Monday motivation. I'll probably be in the middle of eating uh, because I have to eat like 4,000 calories today, tomorrow for uh, squat day. So it's gonna be fun. But that is your Sunday walk and talk. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Peace.